when we say you are saved what we mean is that you rely 100 percent on jesus's righteousness to rely on anything other than jesus's righteousness means you are either not saved or you're confused about salvation that's corinthians 15 14 you will love this one and if christ be not risen then is our preaching vain and your faith is also vain what gives you the basis for your faith is that christ is risen that is your justification and if it's not risen then we are all hypocrites there's no reason to gather here if it's not risen then christianity is a scam it's a fraud did you hear what i said if jesus is not risen then christianity is a scam and a fraud but because he is risen then we are no more in our sins we are justified am i teaching here his resurrection is the kepato kepata the seal for our salvation is he risen is he risen do you believe in his resurrection you are saved somebody shout i am saved because he is risen for my justification amen christianity is not a make-believe we are not a make-believe people we are working on the reality of the death the burial and the resurrection of christ look at that first corinthians 15 verse 17 and if christ be not raised your faith is vain you are yet in your sins if christ did not rise from the dead we are all a bunch of hypocrites but if he is risen and we don't believe in his resurrection we are also hypocrites because for a man to say i'm a christian and does not believe in the finished work of christ is a fast the basis for christianity is that jesus rose from the dead now when you accept his resurrection his resurrection is your justification did you understand what i'm talking about lift your right hand and shout i am justified by faith in the finished work of christ on the cross i didn't hear your amen that's the basis for salvation that is the framework the platform for salvation philippians 1 6 being confident of this very thing that he which had begun a good work in you will perform until the day of jesus christ who will perform he will perform who began he began who will perform he will perform who is the savior he is the savior who is the redeemer he is the redeemer who is the propitiation he is the propitiation who is the substitution he is the substitution who is the justification he is the just who is the redeemer he is so the entire work of salvation is the work of god am i teaching here the entire work of salvation is the work of god so being confident of this very thing which very thing salvation that he that has begun the work of salvation in you will be faithful to perfect it i didn't hear a great amen, amen.